General Joseph W. Stilwell, inspecting the base, discusses the mission with General Saunders. on 20th September. Allied artillery and air power helped Lieutenant General H.D.G. Creerar's Canadian First Army close in on the beleaguered port. On the 17th, RAF planes, including Halifaxes and Lancasters, dropped well over 3,500 tons of bombs on the city. It was a four-hour daylight raid, which required great precision because Allied units were not far from the bombing line. Artillery and Typhoon fighter bombers hammer at port installations and Nazi strong points in Bologna Harbor. Mont Lambert, fortified position east of the port, fell on 18th September. But two days later, Nazi pockets remain in the valley 600 yards from the Citadel Dome. By the 22nd, when resistance collapsed, 7,500 Nazi prisoners, including General Heim, had been taken. Surrender here left only a small garrison at Cape Greenay and larger forces at Calais and Dunkirk still holding out on the coast across from Dover. On 10th September, the port city of La Harve Second most important French harbor comes under intensive aerial bombardment by the Royal Air Force. 5,380 tons of bombs, as well as a large number of incendiaries, are dropped on enemy positions. armored brigade spearheads the ground attack, using flail tanks to cut safety lanes through minefields. These British elements are operating with the Canadian First Army. Glider obstacles along the approaches to the city. Burrows made in the soft earth by tanks offer infantrymen temporary cover against enemy artillery fire. crocodile tanks directed against Nazis entrenched in blockhouses. Eighteen hours after the start of the attack, the British reach within a mile and a half of La Harve. Here, civilian evacuees wait capture of the city before returning to their homes. Extensive demolitions are carried out by the Nazi garrison of 9,000. By 1,200 hours on the 11th, troops reach the outskirts of the city. A few hours later, civilians begin returning to their homes. Extensive wreckage indicates the intensity of the Allied effort to acquire another port before bad channel weather might curtail unloading of supplies on beaches. The Nazi deputy commander who surrendered the garrison at 11.30 hours on the 12th. More than 7,000 prisoners were taken. Army 
tanks blast the Nazis from towns bordering on Nancy prior to the fall of that important French city on 15th September. two-hour barrage, infantrymen continue their advance. Nancy is on the right flank of Lieutenant General George S. Patton's drive on Germany. It controls the main road running along the northern slope of the Borge Mountains to Strasbourg on the Rhine. Some 40 miles southeast of Nancy, French armor moves in for the cleanup around Epinal, capital of the Department of Borge. On 12th September, they approached the town of Vittel, a famous French watering place, and attacked German points of resistance. French troops who moved up from the south for a junction with Allied northern forces helped to narrow the pocket of Nazi retreat through the Belfort Gap. Thirty German tanks were knocked out at the village of Dompere. American aircraft cooperated with the 2nd French Armored Division. German prisoners bury their dead after the occupation of Dompere, 14th September. crossings of the Reich frontier, First Army units attack Siegfried Line fortifications. Infantry troops press forward, supported by intensive cover fire. Hodge's advance patrols move on the west wall emplacements. On 16th September, rapid passage is made after combat engineers cleared a lane through Dragon's Teeth. At the point of deepest penetration, the breach of the line in the Aachen area is widened to about 17 miles. Anti-tank ditches are part of the barriers in front of the main fortifications. captured pillbox. American firepower has been able to pierce most of the heavily reinforced emplacements encountered along the rim of the Siegfried Line. Formations of Dakota aircraft fly over the town of Gale in northern Belgium after completing missions near the Dutch frontier. The flights coincide with the Allied airborne invasion. One of the planes has been hit and is gradually losing altitude. 